Jack them up, boys. Hallelujah. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm always excited about prayer. I just, I pretty much, that's where I stay, kind of, I live, in, live there. And it's always in my heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many know that the people around you, wherever you may be, are in need of prayer? So be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Ghost. Just, the Lord's just saying, be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Ghost when it comes to prayer when you're out on the field. Be sensitive to them. Be sensitive to him because he's doing a move in our, he's doing a move in our nation. Hallelujah. And he's doing it through the church. Hallelujah. Those that are obedient to listen and do. Children, even in school. And some of you I know are homeschooled. Most of you probably here tonight are homeschooled. But you, can't, you probably run into children that are maybe your friends that are in school, public school. And I'm just saying be sensitive to the Spirit of God when it comes to those young people that you come around, whether it's Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, Brownies, whatever you might be involved in. It may be swimming lessons, whatever. Be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Because there are hurting people out there. And uh, I guess it's because I've been dealing with that here this last week, of people that are crying out for prayer because they're in desperate straits, and there is no other place to go but God. And there are those that maybe never would have cried out to God, but now they are. And it's for such a time as this. So I just wanted, I just wanted to just share that. Praise the Lord. I have written down so many things. The Lord has just been all over the place with me. But there's one thing that I want to share with you tonight that I shared with Kathleen here uh, a few weeks back before prayer. And it was something that Joyce McCroskey shared in prayer at the ministry that Brother Hagen had taught her, or she, she picked up something from Brother Hagen. And uh, I never really gave it thought until she ministered to us about it. And uh, I want to minister to you a little bit about it before we get started in prayer. And that's... Uh, how do I want to put this? Praying in the Spirit, I'm not talking about, in corporate prayer when we come together, we pray out loud because we're here corporately and we speak out of our spirits and when we're speaking out of our spirits, we're declaring and decreeing the very thing that the Spirit of God wants us to say verbally. But what I want to share right now is Praying in the Spirit inside. It's like she said, now what you need to do is quiet your mind. And I want everyone to do it tonight. To quiet your mind and, hear you, and let your spirit man on the inside of you begin to pray in the Spirit. And some of you may already do this. And it, it will build you up, and it quiets your mind. But what I, the, what, what spoke to me more than anything, when we began to do that, even at the ministry, was it made me, it made me aware of my spirit man. <laughs> Go, okay, I just, I want everybody to just do that. Just in your mind, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost in your mind. No sound. Just listen to your spirit on the inside of you. Pray. Do you hear your spirit man pray?
Hallelujah. Joycey, I, I call her Joycey. She, she instructed us by the Holy Ghost. And, I'm, and I'm, I want to do the same. For you to begin to do that on a regular basis. Just so that you begin to really sense on the inside of you your spirit man. It, 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 changed, it changed me. I mean, I pray in the Holy Ghost, and I do a lot of my praying. I mean, I just put it out there because I know I was supposed to de declare and decree. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you hearing your spirit man pray. It will build you up. Because, you know, when you begin to hear yourself on your inward man pray, everything else stops. You're not hearing anything else in your mind go on except that. So I encourage you to, on a daily basis, to do that. I really believe that it's going to just bring you up to another level in prayer. And, all, and then the reason why I say that is because it's making you more and more aware of your spirit man, spirit, soul, and body, becoming more and more aware of your spirit man to where you'll become more sensitive to the leading of the Holy Ghost because you've got yourself toned in to your spirit man. Does that make sense? I mean, it just, it just, it just come alive in us. And she heard that a long, long time ago. And she's put that into practice all these years. And she's just, she's just said that it has just, it's moved mountains in her life as a result of that, keeping her in that place of peace. Amen. Hallelujah. So with this, I say, and I declare and decree tonight to you in 1 Peter 1 and 2, it says, grace unto you, peace be multiplied. Second Peter 1, 2 says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus. So I declare and dec decree tonight that grace and peace be multiplied to you. Not added to you, multiplied to you. That you're operating in such a high degree of grace and peace, it's like walking on air. Hallelujah. That unmerited favor, that unprecedented favor, that peace that passes all understanding, to know that you know that you know that you know. Grace and peace, I pray and declare over this body of believers in this Silverado Cowboy Church, that grace and peace be multiplied in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Grace and peace be multiplied. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In 2 Timothy 2, 7, it says that God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of love, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So how do you combat fear? With the spirit of power, spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. You have been given a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a spirit of a sound mind to combat fear. Hallelujah. And the world could be running amok in fear, but we walk in peace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I declare and agree. The Word of God says so. The Word of God does not return void back to us. It accomplishes that which it's been sent to do. Amen. So I walk in grace. I walk in peace. I walk in power. You walk in power. You walk in love. And you walk with a sound mind. Declare and decree that. Don't let your words destroy it. Let your words bring you up. Don't let your words bring you down. 
circumstances. You speak the word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank you for the word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we thank you for the word. We thank you, Father, that the word dwells in us. The word abides in us. We thank you, Father, that the Holy Ghost dwells in us, that the Holy Ghost guides us, the Holy Ghost comforts us, the Holy Ghost is our helper, our deliverer, our teacher. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, this is a church that's filled with the Holy Ghost. Filled with the Holy Ghost, not partially. We are filled, we are filled, filled with the Holy Ghost. There's no part of me that's not filled. There's no part of me that does not have a sound mind. There's no part of me that's powerless in the eyes of God. So I have to look through his eyes. Through Thank you, Jesus. For revelation, Father, of who we are in Jesus, who we are in Christ. We thank you, Father, for who we are in you. Thank you, Father, for every man, woman, and child that walks through these doors, Father, that they know who they are in you. What you've delivered them from, what they're about to accomplish in their life, their purpose, their positions. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that we walk in abundant life. Amen. We're not in survival mode. We're in revival. Hallelujah. We're replenishing the earth. <laughs> thank you. Say, I'm a replenisher. I'm a replenisher. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a creator. The words I speak are creative. They're from God. They're of God. They're by God. They're led by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The power of God resides in you. The power of God resides in you. The love of God resides in you. You have a sound mind. Why? You've been given the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. And when you go on your inward man and you hear your spirit man pray, hallelujah, inward and outward, you will build yourself up in your most holy faith. Why? Because you hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Be confident in the spirit of God that he's placed within you. The Lord would say to you, be confident in the spirit of the, of the, that's been given to you. Be confident that when I said I'd leave, I would give you the Holy Ghost. Be confident in that. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't try to work it up. Just do. It's a part of you. It's in you. It's like when a, when a child begins, he's, you know, he's not walking and, and then he's crawling and then he's getting stronger and then before you know it, he's scooting and he's doing everything and then before you know it, he's lifting himself up and then he's taking off. He's not really, he's just doing. And then boom, let that be with the Holy Ghost. Just, just, just start doing and before you know it, Shoo! Hallelujah, don't, don't think about how. Don't think about how long. Don't think about it. Just do it. And I don't care who you're with. You can go inward as well as outward. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Holy Ghost is our guide. Thank you, Jesus. And we can't be afraid to use the weapon that the Lord gave us, and that's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah declare and decree that this church operates in the Holy Ghost. Yes. That it doesn't refrain from the Holy Ghost. It doesn't refrain from the Word of God. It, we step out and we're bold and we declare and decree that this Word accomplishes that which has been sent to do. Yes. 
Hallelujah. And that's to set the captives free. And that's for us to continue to live with abundant life. Never to go back to what was, but to keep going forward. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The message says, you take delight in God, the mighty one, and look to him joyfully and boldly. You pray to him, and he listens. He'll help you do what you promised. What you promised, he'll help you do. You, just, you decide what you want, and it will happen. Your life will be bathed in light. Woo! Bathed in light. Hallelujah. It's like when, you, when you're down in the water, you're, it's all over you. I mean, there's not a part of you. It's all there. It's all over you. That light, you're bathed in it. It's all over you. Hallelujah. To those who feel low, you say, chin up. Be brave and God will save them. Yes, even the guilty will escape, escape through God's grace in your life. Hallelujah. The grace that's on you, thank you, will help someone that doesn't know him to know him. Hallelujah. And it'll bring them out of that pit of hell. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just thank you. I stir myself up with you, Father. I stir myself with the Word of God. I stir myself with the Holy Ghost, Father. That it is established, that it is fulfilled. We thank you, Father, for the vision of this church. We thank you for the vision for the youth of this church. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that you're taking them from glory to glory to glory. And Lord, you're showing us how to do that. It's not just saying we're doing it. Lord, you're showing us how to go from glory to glory to glory. Because Lord, you say in your word, we have not to ask. If we lack wisdom to ask, and you give it to us liberally. So, Father, I thank you for the wisdom. I thank you for the knowledge. I thank you for the direction for our young people. How to lead them, Father. How to bring them into that place, Father, that they can step out into the calling you've called them to do. Hallelujah. Father, that we help one another arm in arm. That we are jointly fitted. We're not all over the place. We're together, locked arm in arm. Hallelujah. There's no way the devil can get in because we're locked. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When someone comes into the fold, they just come in. They just melt in. There's no gap. They just melt in. Hallelujah. No place for the devil. Hallelujah. There's no place for the devil in this place. There's no place for the devil in your homes. There's no place for the devil as you're driving down the road. There's no place for the devil in your families. There's no place for the devil in your schools or in our leadership of our nation. There's no place. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's the redeemed say so. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're the voice. Right. We're voices that make one voice. Hallelujah, the voice of God. Amen. One word from God can change a nation. One word from God can have everyone in that nation fall to their knees. Hallelujah. I declare and decree it over this nation, on every highway, on every byway, on every country road, that the glory of the Lord is falling, and everybody will fall to their knees and know that God is God. For this is a Christian nation in Jesus' name. It's nothing but a Christian nation. Under God. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm not allowing no devil to take this nation from us. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me. 
Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when you hear, and I just say that when you start hearing just yuck, you hear the, when you hear the yuck, if you're around it and you hear the yuck, you, be de you begin to declare out of your mouth Amen. the word of God. Right. Don't even speak that yuck. Amen. Don't give he, I mean, don't give time to it. Right. Declare the word over it. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That our children see us declaring the word of God. That they can operate with the spirit of peace. Because they know their mom and dad are following the words of Jesus. And there's, there's comfort in their hearts knowing. Hallelujah. There's a security in that. Praise God. Hallelujah. I didn't know that growing up. Went through a lot of yuck because I didn't know it. Bless God, my grandbabies are going to know it. Amen. I try to minister to them as much as I can when I see them, when I talk to them. Bless God, my household Amen. is saved. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our households are saved. It says in the word of God that when one in the household is saved, the entire household shall be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare it. Devil says, uh-huh, uh-huh. The word says it. I believe the word. I declared it out of my mouth. I'm not going to be moved by anything but what the word says. And as far as I'm concerned, my seed is saved. Hallelujah. And I declare and decree it. I speak it. I speak it. I speak it. I'm not operating in doubt. I'm not operating in an unbelief. I'm just declaring the word of God out of my mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. That's prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Be bold. Hallelujah. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for boldness. Thank you, Father, for Holy Ghost boldness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that, you, that, you're, that you're guiding us. You're showing us. Hallelujah. Each and every day, Father, you're showing us those things that we need to know and see. You're showing us. Don't quit saying, I don't know. And begin to declare, I know. I know. Say, I know. I know the direction I'm to go. I know the place where I'm supposed to be. Begin to declare, I know. Quit saying, I don't know. And before you know it, out of your spirit, you'll know. Why? Because you've been declaring, I know. Amen? I, I really, God, Yabashiki Cerebronda. God made it so plain. He made it so simple. Hallelujah. Just learning to listen to the Spirit of God and not try to figure it out. Just do. Do what you know to do in your spirit. Do, and as you step out and do, the next will come. Each step you take, it'll get you closer and closer to the destination God's got in store for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, thank you, Jesus, that I have direction, that I have wisdom, that I know I'm in the know, Lord. I'm in the know. And then listen. I get so caught up in praying that you forget to listen. It's like you, when, you're, when you're praying... This is kind of maybe a, a teaching thing. But when you're praying, have a notebook with you. And there are those here that if you, if you spend time in prayer, you probably already know and do that. Because when you're in prayer and you begin to pray and then you stop and you listen, you start writing down. You just start writing down. And it may not mean, you may not, not understand at the time what it's even about. But you write, write it down. Because you'll go back, date it, 
Declare and decree it. It's a word coming out of the spirit, out of your spirit, man, for you. It's not just... And I, I repent, Lord, because there's been times I've, that I've not taken that seriously. Oh, thank you, Lord. A nonchalant. And then you go back, what was it that the Lord... And he said, well, if you just had written it down, why not? I might be speaking to someone here that needs to do that. Write it down. I don't care how young or old you are. Write it down. Praise God. And I know you do a lot of writing. Catherine, I know you do a lot of writing. And that's a God thing. And never take that lightly. Because that's a God thing. God, that's a God-given gift that's going to take you to places that you have not even thought or dreamed of. It's going to take you to places, Catherine, that you've not even imagined. So you just keep writing. And you just keep writing, and you buy another notebook, and you just keep writing, 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 and you just, keep writing, and you just, keep writing, and you just watch and see what God does with those writings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He gives gifts to our children. Doesn't matter how young or how old we are. He gives gifts to us. Praise Harvey. He gives gifts to you. He does. Write it down. Creative ideas. We, we, we pray for those all the time here. Write them down. Thank you, Lord, for creative ideas. Lord, we call on creative ideas out of heaven. I la brando stelere bresne, che le brosa tala ra brande le este de motion namanda, i le broso tora la brase che se de bronda. Father, there's inventions that's not even been invented yet, Lord. That very person could be in this room. Stir it up, bola stele bronda. Ile brosne mandala braso koshnema. Ile oshtala rabrasa. We draw them out of the spirit of God. Ele brosne mandele oshtala brasi. Alo koshtele rebresne mianda. Sola braste le osho. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brosne manda, ile o talasti branda, koshtele re bresne, anania sota, broso kotala brande, kile oshtele ra brastele oshna manda. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Dropping into our spirit, man, creative ideas. Thank you, Father, that you help us to work smarter, not harder. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that we don't have to be toilers at our jobs. Thank you, Father, that we just do what you called us to do. And because of that, Father, we are blessed. We're blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I have the blessing of God on me. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, that I am blessed to be a blessing all the time. Hallelujah. I have more than enough. Say, I have more than enough. My storehouses are full and running over that I can give. I can give. I can keep giving. I can give some more. I can give some more. 
My storehouses are full and running over. I said they're running over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, out of your mouth, out of your belly, flows rivers of living water. Out of your mouth, your heart speaks. What's your heart filled with tonight? Is it going to change your world? Is your heart going to change your world? Or is it going to just keep you in the world? The Word of God says we are of this world, but not in this world. I don't want to be stuck. I want my heart to cause change. So how do you do that? You've got to keep it filled with the Word of God. And you've got to keep your spirit man strong. You've got to learn how to be led by the Spirit of God. You've got to listen to your spirit man. And then you have to do. It's not enough just to hear. You have to do. Praise God. If we just do, if more of us would just do. Why not? Amen? Amen? As we go up, we'll take the rest of the people that come through these doors up with us. They'll only go as high as we are. How high are we? wanting to go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like we shared in prayer on Sunday, you know. We're, we're seated in heavenly places. Right now, you're hitting here in these chairs on earth, but you're seated in heavenly places. The Word of God says that. So right now, you're seated in heavenly places. So can you say heaven on earth? Heaven's right here. You're here, right? <laughs> Are you here? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heaven on earth. God to man. Thank you, Jesus. You said that, bud. God to man, not man to God. God to man. Hallelujah. And that's where we accomplish that through prayer. Amen? I want to close with this. It's the Word of God says that the angels of, the, the angels of God hearken to the Word of God. They carry out the very things you declare out of your mouth. They hearken to the Word of God. You know, when Daniel spent time praying, the angel was hearkening to his Word. It took him a while to get down there and say, well, I've been busy. Working it out. 21 days. The angel was doing his work. The angels are doing their work for us. Amen. And I like in Matthew 13, 30, it says, The reapers, the angels of God, are gathering the harvest for the saints. Have you put your angels to work gathering your harvest by the words of your mouth? Yes. Or are you stopping the angels of God gathering your harvest by the words of your mouth. Praise the Lord. So, guard your hearts. Build your spirits. Pray on the Holy Ghost inwardly and outwardly. Teach yourself how to hear your spirit man pray. You know, I pray in the spirit and I hear myself praying in the spirit because I pray out loud. I mean, I just pray out loud, and I hear myself praying in the Spirit. But like I said, when I went inward, it, it brought a whole different revelation to me on hearing my spirit man pray. You know, when you're out here doing it verbally, it's almost like my body's involved in it. My, my, my senses are involved in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's more to me involved in it when I'm praying out loud. Which is not a, bad, it's not a bad thing. It's just that when I went inwardly, 
it just made me, it just revealed to me even more how much of my spirit man that they're inside of me, having a voice. It has a voice. You hear, did you hear your spirit man praying? It had a voice. Was you giving it voice? Was you giving it voice on the inside of you? Think about it though, in the sense that I give a voice when I speak out loud. I give that spirit man voice to speak out loud, but on the inside of me, it's my spirit man praying, isn't it? It's my spirit man's voice. Because I don't know what it's saying. I'm not telling it what to say. Is your mind telling it what to say? Your physical mind telling it what to say? It's your spirit man. It has a voice. And so when you're praying out in the Holy Ghost, it's voice, using your sound voice, using your vocal cords, it's his voice. Amen. Amen. Doesn't that speak to you? Amen. Or am I just crazy? When I'm speaking that out, it's the voice of God, it's the spirit man's voice on the inside of me. Because whether the Lord, it's until the Lord gives me interpretation of what that is in English, I'm believing by God by faith that it's the Spirit of God speaking through me. Amen. His voice. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Spirit always knows how to pray. Every time. Every time. When you don't know how to pray, it pray. It knows how. Tap into that. Don't be afraid of it. If you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, you need to be. You need to let that prayer language come out of you. The Holy Ghost is there. You just need to let that prayer language, that voice, release the voice within you. Release the voice of the Holy Ghost within you. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, Father, I just thank you for tonight. I thank you, Father. For every person that comes to prayer, Father, I thank you, Lord, that we can come together, Father, corporately. Father, you say that when one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand to flight, and there's several of us here, Father, so we know there's a lot of flying going on. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you that we're in unity, that we're in one accord, Father, that we're in agreement. And Father, that we can see and know that things are taking place in the Spirit on our behalf. Father, because you're perfecting that which concerns us. Father, that your word declares that when we call upon you, you answer us. And we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for where we've come from. We thank you, Father, for where we are. And we thank you, Father, for where you're taking us. It's greater Hallelujah. It gets better and better. It gets greater and greater each and every day with God. Hallelujah. There's an anointing for every day. There's been an anointing attached to every day. Hallelujah. There was an anointing on today and there will be an anointing on tomorrow. Hallelujah. And the anointing removes burdens and it destroys yokes. Amen. Hallelujah. So be doers of the word, not just hearers of the word. Amen. God bless you. Not really. I'm going to share something. Try, try this. When she said, be quiet and let your spirit man pray, all of you have been at baseball games, rodeos, uh, football games, NASCAR things that they say, let's have a moment of silence for somebody that died. And you think, I wonder how long they're going to go. How long are they going to be quiet? Just start praying in the spirit inside and you'll think, man, why didn't they wait longer? Exactly. Amen. I tell you, there's something to it. Okay, this is Wednesday. I just want everybody that's here to put this in practice till sun, and, and Sunday, and, and I, want, I, I want to hear testimony. You can come up to me and talk to me on Sunday 
And you just tell me what if, if it's brought change into your life. It's made you more aware of the spirit man that's on the inside of you. It, it, it gave me that revelation of spirit, soul, and body. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As you've watched today, you've had the opportunity to hear the word preached. And as you apply that word, you'll get victory in your life. But it has to start someplace. It has to start first with a commitment to Jesus Christ as making him your Savior and then making him the Lord of your life. Paul said this in Romans 10, 8 through 10. It says, but what does it say? The word is near you and it's in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Well, the word of faith that Paul preached is found in the next verses. It says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved. For with a mouth confession is made unto salvation, and with a heart one believes unto righteousness. So it goes like this. All you have to do is actually say, Jesus is my Savior and he is my Lord. So I'm going to invite you to say this with me this morning. Uh, and if you want to bow your head, you can bow your head. The Bible says that pray watching. And so it's okay to keep your eyes open and, and watch. But let's say this together. Say, Father, I know that you sent Jesus to die for my sins. I confess those sins today. I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me of those sins and to come into my heart and be my Savior. And I commit today that I will make you the Lord of my life. Thank you for salvation today. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you said that today for the first time, no matter what time of the day or night it is, uh, welcome to the family. Welcome to knowing Jesus Christ as your Savior. Now from this day on, make Him the Lord of your life. And as you make Him the Lord of your life, you will find out what God can do in you and through you. Also, if you've watched this broadcast, we want you to know that you can become a partner with this ministry. As you become a partner with this ministry, some of the things that you've seen throughout this uh, presentation... Uh, the buck outs and, and things like that, then you become a part of that kind of ministry. And there's many people that come to know Jesus. We have offices in Nigeria and Togo, have four churches in Nigeria, one in, in Togo. And uh, we want you to know that you become a part of each and everything that this ministry does when you become a partner. You can see the information right there on your screen so that you're able to become a covenant partner with us. And as you do, we want you to know that we pray over each and every one of your offerings so that God will multiply it back to your hands according to his word. His word says in Luke 6, 38, that he gives back, pressed down, shaken together, running over to make room for more. The New Living Translation says, whatever measure you use in giving large or small, it'll be used to measure what is given back to you. So we want you to know that God loves you, He'll take care of you and he'll multiply the seed that you sow in this ground with this ministry. Remember that Jesus is Lord and Jesus loves you and so do we.